am Professor Shamsuddin Babatunde Alegba. I attended Amadia Primary School, Alegbata, which again uh, is in the heart of Lagos towards the coast. From there, uh, while we were growing up in Lagos, uh, you know, you have the bus transport then was the pass because I was staying, was staying again. I stayed briefly with my parents at Itakoni, then later uh, because I was going to go to Amadia Primary School. At that time, there were very few Muslim primary schools in Lagos. Uh, there used to be in Saudi at Alakoro and Amadia at Alebata. So I had to stay with my grand auntie uh, at Olobo at uh, Uwa Notere Street. Uh, today, uh, that's part of the commercial center of Lagos, all the way from Broad Street down to the marina at Olobo. And then between uh, Olobo, going through Broad Street, you have the Ansarodin School at Alakoro. From there you move, you can move to the uh, center of Lagos, as <coughs> you call it, the, the Brazilian quarters. Growing up around Central Mosque in Lagos at that time, most of the children were multilingual. They would speak Yoruba, they would speak uh, Hausa settlers there, they would speak even uh, Nupi and so on and so forth. Lagos, especially Lagos Island at that time, everybody virtually knew everybody. And uh, uh, marriages, because at that time, uh, you hear of who is getting married to whom, which family, because it was not an individual uh, thing, it was a family thing, it was a communal thing. Not communal in the sense of having parties, but communal in the sense that uh, when they are going, people are following them. Uh, th this is Lagos uh, that we all grew up in. Lagos was a very good place, a communal society. Now you have a lot of people, and of course that's a good thing in the sense that it has uh, 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 brought up a lot of commerce, and, uh, but then we have uh, uh, lost some of the uh, contacts which we used to have in terms of family. Everybody has become very busy. Lagos is so accommodating in the sense that if you uh, are you able to live with, within their norms, uh, you are always uh, welcome, you can get assimilated. At that time, of course, Isolo was like staying in the bush because you have to take a particular transport. Uh, it was a bolekaja from, uh, you, we moved from uh, our house, I was staying at that time at Vincent Street, uh, you, you take a bus to Idumota. At Idumota now, of course, you will see the, the tower uh, where they have the central now, uh, which looks like this clock, uh, but much bigger at, at that time, uh, which you could see. And then when you get to uh, uh, Idumota, you, you change the bus to Bolekaja to you take it to Mushi. From Mushi now, you take uh, <laughs> some small, uh, a bit uh, wretched car to take you to uh, Isolo through Adaliko. Adaliko at that time was the only house because as you move, uh, travel from uh, uh, Mushin to Lagos, you hardly find any other place except uh, that Adaliko house which uh, uh, became a landmark for the area. Now at Ansaudin College Isoro, which of course is a pride not only to uh, uh, the Muslim community in Lagos, but to the entire country because uh, it became an icon and of course as you know today, uh, it is said that the foremost Muslim or Islamic organization uh, in Nigeria today is the Ansaruddin Society, and their flagship uh, uh, in education is the Ansaruddin College Solo, even though they have other uh, secondary schools, primary school, and now a university. So Lagos had pioneered not only uh, 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 good communal living, but culture, education, commerce, and, and bringing up uh, the best of human beings. So this is Lagos. Lagos, we have contributed to the development of this country, not, and we have brought people to develop themselves by living among us in Lagos. This is my Lagos, and I think uh, the 50 years celebration is worth the while for the country.